It's Illuminostic and we are in the Amazon rainforest right outside of Zamora, Ecuador. Smash the like button, share, subscribe. So we arrived in Zamora, Ecuador yesterday evening and this is the view from our hostel. These are the Andes and that is the Amazon rainforest. And this is our hostel. At first uh, when I saw the uh, bull on the bed promotion I was thinking that it was sounded like an amazing idea. I love animals, but it turned out that having a 1200 pound bull in your bed is not really uh, conducive to having a good night's sleep. This giant clock, every hour, a uh, voice comes like through a, a, a mega, megaphone blasting at all hours. So if you come here, get a hostel far away from the clock. Here is one of the gorgeous exquisitely landscaped uh, parks here in Zamora. There's a little landing, you can go down to the river, a nice sandy little beach, a straw hut type of deal over here. <laughs> I'm surprised to see this mural here, it appears to depict a person either giving or receiving a cup of ayahuasca. I'm assuming the shaman is the the one made of vine. <clears throat> I would also assume this is a depiction of the Shuar people. Another gorgeous park and interesting old church in central Zamora. Another mural on the side of this building depicting a shawar warrior. I don't know what these are, but these trees with these gorgeous purple blooms are just everywhere in the jungle right now. This branch is an amazing example of the biodiversity of the rainforest. This, these are all parasites growing on this tree and there looks like there's Maybe a few dozen different species on this single branch. Trees here, I'm not really sure what it is that we're looking at. It kind of appears that the roots grow into the ground from above or something. <laughs> That's just absolutely insane. It looks like we just missed or we're rather too early for some massive flowers all over this thing another unusual but common delicacy here in ecuador are chicken feet that you see at left here guinea pig is on the menu at this restaurant in ecuador this dish is called cooey and keep your eyes peeled because i'm going to make a taste test video where i will sample this dish but unfortunately this restaurant was out of stock at the time This mural depicts a shrunken head. The local Shuar tribe would sever the heads of their enemies, remove the skin from skull, shrink them both separately using a complex process which consisted of boiling the skull with minerals and herbs. After shrinking, they would reattach the skin and sew eyes, nose, and mouth closed in order to trap the soul. Legend has it that ayahuasca taught them how to do this. Note in the mural, the mouth of the head is stitched closed. Apparently a light post fell down and there's an electrical fire. So we're just going to kind of wander off down the road and see what we can find. Hopefully we'll uh, find some chaliponga and some ayahuasca, maybe see some monkeys. Walking along we came upon this vine. I'm not sure what it is, but it has these clusters of flowers hanging every couple of feet or so. And then right next to it, you have to be very careful what you touch in the jungle because um, as you'll see in a second, these spines stick to you. But it feels really soft, almost like felt. No pasamos aquí. Look at those spines on the bamboos. They're actually young branches. They are hard and sharp. Walking along, I noticed this 
weird funky stuff on the bottom of this plant and I realized that it's an ant colony attached to the stem of this vine. I'm not sure what this is either, but it's interesting is little spots, maybe seeds that drop or, um, I don't know, but it looks like ceremonial face paint. The biodiversity here is just truly amazing. There are just so many plants and different organisms. These palm fronds are edible. If you're ever lost in the jungle, they're an abundant and delicious food source, but it is necessary to unroll them first and check for bugs. But they're nutritious and delicious and plentiful. Um, yeah. So this is a termite mound. When you're looking for ayahuasca in the jungle in Ecuador, this is what you're contending with. It is just a massive tangle of brush and vines and critters. So we finally found some wild ayahuasca. So this vine goes all the way through and then comes down over there. Here are a couple of different species of coca plant. See the berries here, coca flowers. Hola, it's our last day in the jungle. So we have decided to try our luck at gold panning the family for the first time. Agual seems to have the basic idea. This technique could use a little bit of work, maybe. You got some yet, buddies? So here I am bushwhacking up this ravine. There's a creek running under my feet. A little spring probably. And you can see beside me, every plant in here is covered in moss and other plants. So trying to determine what type of vine you're looking at at any given time, especially if it's not um, red ayahuasca, uh, it, which the uh, uh, other types are not quite as distinctive from the outside. Um, <laughs> you have your work cut out for you. So here, running along the ground, I found a couple of small vines. Ayahuasca Rojo. A beautiful, amazing plant to be in the presence of in this out here in this glorious jungle. So as I'm doing this, you can see I'm literally sinking in quicksand. Like, legit for real quicksand. <laughs> well, we are leaving the jungle for this trip. It's been mostly successful. Absolutely gorgeous, pristine Ecuadorian rainforest. The rainforest is truly a magical and extraordinary place. I have seen logs with more biodiversity on them than the state of Oklahoma. The fact that bulldozers are raising unbelievable acreages every minute is totally unacceptable. So I just want to encourage everyone to make some kind of contribution to help protect uh, these wild lands. And I'll include a link with this video uh, to a, a local shaman who is working to protect the Shuar Reservation from Chinese mining interests. 
uh, I'll try to include a couple of other reputable charities that I've selected. Thanks a lot for watching. Hit the like button, share, subscribe. It also really means a lot if you guys support us on Patreon. You can find premium content and all sorts of interesting opportunities at our Patreon site. You can find a link in the description.